Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Jeanette Wyden from Laudit District Library. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so you are in charge of the genealogy department? Yes. Uh, great. So can you tell me a little bit about that and why people enjoy learning about genealogy? So it's a very, very popular hobby and we get new people every day who come through the door. I think people are so interested in it because it kind of explains who you are. Mm -hmm. You can learn about yourself through learning about your family. So maybe you have a story in your family that you learn, you know, your grandfather had a brother who, who drowned as a young boy. So maybe you, you learned that he did not teach his children how to swim to protect them. And then maybe a few generations later, the ext other extreme happened and the, the grandchild learns how to swim to a, be a lifeguard. Uh -huh. So you just learn new things. And always. all of these stories can come through the services that you have there at the library? Yes, yes. So we have, of course, Ancestry. That's a great database that's available mm -hmm. to genealogists and you can come to the library and use it for free. And we have the Grand Haven Tribune and there's all sorts of great stories in the Tribune. That really is the meat. It tells you what they did. And then you guys are able to help them kind of navigate through this. I've seen the room and the books and yeah. everything, so it, it looks pretty in depth. <laughs> It's a little overwhelming. I even get overwhelmed when I go to a new library. Uh -huh. The first time I go, I don't necessarily learn a whole lot because you're still learning the lay of the land. Sure. But that's why we're there. We want to assist the patron and make it as easy as possible for okay. them. And what's your background that you came to being a <laughs> genealogist? It's kind of a weird one. I went to school and got a degree in anthropology. And through my advisor, I started to work at a museum. Mm -hmm. And so through there, I was hired at the local museum, was at the Tri-Cities Historical Museum for many years. And I always thought, oh, I really like the library and that genealogy department's great. Uh -huh. And I was starting to do genealogy. My grandmother was really into it and she was teaching me some things and talking about the family and wow. got me hooked. And it just went from there. Went from there. Yeah, the person retired and I replaced her. Great. <laughs> and I've been there 14 years. 14, okay. Um, and then what can they, do they have to go in there to the, to the library or is there stuff online that they can check out? Yeah, there's stuff online. So the one place to go would be the library's website, mm -hmm. li lauditlibrary.org. And we have indexes to the local papers so you can learn if there are articles you want to come to the library to read. So that's an, an easy step to get you started. Mm -hmm. There's also, f through our website, you can have access to Fold 3 if you're allowed at library card holder. And what is Fold, what is that? Oh, it's a military database. So it gives you information if you have a soldier in your family. Mm -hmm. And there's also, for everyone in the state of Michigan, your state tax dollars give you access to my heritage which is kind of like Ancestry, it has a lot of federal census and a lot of great records in it. Okay. And you can get access through our website to that one. Interesting, okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't always have to pay that fee that no. they're talking about on television. No, you don't have to pay that fee. And if okay. you, Ancestry unfortunately does not allow remote access. Mm -hmm. So you do have to either pay that fee to have access in your home or come to the library and it's free. And what is the best way for somebody to get started? Ooh, come and see us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, if you are brand new, come and see us. We want to help you and kind of give you tips. We'll teach you how to use Ancestry, how to do a better search. What are you, what are you um, really searching for and what websites are going to be the best resource? Do you have some great stories to tell us about some people mm -hmm. who have... Come through the know, door. Yeah. Oh, I can tell you about our director. Okay. <laughs> so John, he was telling me about, maybe his wife won't like this story, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay. <You can> apologize <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll talk apologize to John. later. <laughs> so his wife, there's always been a family story that her, I think it's great, great grandfather, um, got upset with his wife and killed her. So it was always, is this true? So it was kind of this legend in the family and you know, they would tease each other. Couples uh -huh. would tease each other with this story. And so, I don't know, John, let's see if it's true. Yeah. 
We've it's been... local. Let's see. Uh huh. And it was true. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we were able to find the articles about him shooting his second wife. There's not always great stories, you know. But there are some great ones that come about as well. Yes. The other really memorable one for me, I was contacted first by a uh, TV show in Sweden, mm -hmm. very popular show. And they were researching somebody in Grand Haven and wanted to verify a connection to their Swedish relatives. And were looking for specific obituaries to confirm it. Because this person from Grand Haven, she was a contestant, potentially a contestant on the show, which she did get to go and do. And uh, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. But through that, through that connection, there was also a Swedish researcher, a member of her family in Sweden, who was looking for those same family members and had been contacted by the TV show. And because of that, she learned of us and the Grand Haven, the Lauda, Lauda District Library, mm -hmm. and she contacted me. And so we, we communicated many months through email, and then the next summer she came to visit the family member and, of mm -hmm. course, came to the library. And we became friends and we still communicate and she even helped me do my research really in Sweden so she was able to find over 300 uh, descendants from my great grandparents great great grandparents okay mm -hmm. and were they with Swedish descent uh-huh all still in Sweden she even really? got me in contact with them oh she called them up That's gave me amazing. my gave him my information yeah, yeah. It was a, it's great. And that can all start right here at Loudon Library. It can. So if you're interested or if you're not interested in learning more about your family, then maybe you should not visit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. But, but just knowing like where you came from, your heritage. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of stories where people, they thought they were, you know, a certain percent German and then they discovered yes. that's not the case. Yes. There's a lot of that. We can help people navigate through that DNA, that genealogy DNA mm -hmm. that every has become so popular. So I've done that test with four of the major companies. So I have results from all of them and I can see how they differ. Now, were you able to do any DNA testing through Loudit or do you still have to go through those other sources? You have to go through the other sources. You have okay. to go directly to the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. But it's fascinating. Yeah. And then imagine. you get matched with other people who have taken a DNA test and your relatives with. So you find new relatives to share stories and share photographs and information. Amazing, mm -hmm. yeah. Great, well thank you very much. That was interesting. I think we're about out of time. Is there anything else that you wanna add about some of the services or? I would say just come see us at the library. Okay. We're here for you. We certainly will. Well, thank you very much for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home, love your loan. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time.